Hello student, I am Bhageshri Thura and welcome to my channel Pinnacle. If you like my video lectures, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. This really helps to keep our team motivated. My references to prepare this video is Optical Communication Essentials by Gerd Kaiser, edition 3rd, 4th and 5th. Fiber optics communication is a method of transmitting information from one point to another by sending light through an optical fiber. It is widely used in telecommunications, internet and other industries that require high speed data transmission or in simple words the function of an optical fiber link is to transport a signal from some piece of electronic equipment that is a computer telephone or video device at one location to corresponding equipment at another location with high degree of reliability and accuracy figure 2.5 shows the key sections of an optical fiber communication link. In this lecture, we will discuss the block diagram of a typical fiber optic communication system. The first block is transmitter. Transmitter is the first component of fiber optics communication system. It converts electrical signal into optical signal that can be transmitted through the optical fiber. The transmitter consists of three main parts, a signal generator, a modulator and a light source. The signal generator creates electrical signal that needs to be transmitted. Then modulator modulates the signal into the light source, typically laser or LED to create the optical signal and electrical signal is applied to optical transmitter. Now in optical transmitter, fiber fly lead is play a very important role Fiber fly lead is used to connect optical signal to optical fiber. Again, I will repeat what is optical transmitter. Optical transmitter consists of a driver circuitry, light source, fiber fly lead and modulator. Driver circuitry drives the light source. Light source converts electrical signal to optical signal. Fiber fly lead is used to connect optical signal to optical fiber cable and Modulator is used to modulate the signal into the light source. Then next very important part is transmission channel. In fiber optic communication system, optical fiber is the medium through which the optical signal is transmitted. It consists core, cladding layer and protective coating. Core is the center part of the fiber through which the light travels. Then cladding layer surrounded the core and reflects the light back into the core to prevent loss of signal and last but very important the protective coating protects the fiber from damage and external interference the protective coating provides mechanical and environmental protection to the optical fibers contained inside each optical fiber acts as an individual channel then optical splice is used to permanently join two individual optical fibers. Optical connector is for temporary non-fixed joints between two individual optical fibers and the third component is optical coupler or splitter provides signal to other devices. Sometimes we, we use repeater to convert the optical signal into electrical signal using optical receiver and passes to the electronic circuit where it is reshaped and amplified as it gets attenuated and distorted with increasing distance. It happens because of a scattering, absorption and dispersion in waveguides. This signal is then again converted into optical signal by the optical transmitter. The cost of using repeater is very high. That's why we have to design repeater very precisely. The last and very important and final component is receiver of fiber optic communication system. It receives the optical signal and converts back into an electrical signal. The receiver consists of a detector, a preamplifier 
and a signal processor. The detector converts optical signal into an electrical signal. Preamplifier amplifies the electrical signal to a level that can be processed by a signal processor. The signal processor processes the signal and extracts the original information that was transmitted. To boost the strength of optical signal when it travels through the fiber, optical amplifier can be used. There are several types of optical amplifiers including iridium dome fiber amplifier, semiconductor optical amplifier and Raman amplifier. Terminal equipment is used to interface with the fiber optics communication system. It can include a modem, a router, a switch or other networking equipment that is used to connect the fiber optics communication system to other networks or devices. This diagram is very complicated to draw in exams. That's why in 5th edition this simple diagram is given which is a very simple to draw in your examination that is optical transmitter, optical amplifier, then passive or op active optical devices that is optical filter, couplers, switches, optical receiver, information source may be video camera, telephone or laptop and at the receiver the original information we can receive on similar way display units, phone and laptop. So this is a very simple diagram and you can draw in your exam sections also. This figure shows installation of optical fibers in under sea water, ducts, city, building. It shows some cables which are buried, then fiber cables within buildings, fiber cables in underground ducts, which is we can see normally on highway. Now I like to conclude this video session that fiber optics communication is reliable an efficient method for transmitting information over long distance. In this video, we studied the block diagram of a typical fiber optics communication system includes transmitter, optical fiber, optical amplifier, receiver and terminal equipment. Understanding the concepts of fiber optic communication system is essential for designing and maintaining high speed communication network. Thanks to listen this video lecture till end. Thank you.